parts of this campaign. But on the line right now is multimedia producer Nina Liu, who just voted in Pasong Tamo Elementary School in Quezon City. She'll be talking us, talking to us about her voting experience. Nina. Hi, Bea. So I don't know if you can see right now. It's very overexposed behind me, but. I'm at Pasong Tamo Elementary School, like you mentioned, that's in Quezon City, under District 6, and I voted for the first time. So I think relatively, my experience was a smooth one. Um, pagdating ko lang dito though, at 6 a.m. sharp, the line was already very, very long. Um, no doubt about that. Outside, uh, the line was reaching outside the school already. Mga a little less than 500 meters, pero punong puno na sa labas, pati sa loob. Um, but once you get inside, for me, my stark observation was the volunteers, everyone involved in running the election um, process, at least dito sa precinct ko, they were all very well prepared, the teachers, the PPCRB volunteers, the poll watchers. And um, for me, it really helped na I came prepared, so I knew what my precinct number was already, kasi doon medyo nagkakapunuan pagpasok mo dun sa covered area in the school. People crowd dun sa board kung saan nililista yung mga precinct numbers over those who weren't able to check beforehand. Nag nagkakadikitan doon. So, um, if you know your precinct number beforehand, better na hindi ka na makigulo doon. Which I did, so diretso na ako sa room, sa precinct ko sa taas. And once I got there, um, again, meron namang list outside of all the classrooms. So, I was easily able to locate my number in my precinct. And once I got that, meron namang nakaabang doon na the teachers and the PPCRBs to assist and get your number. So, dito rin sa amin, pinaprioritize talaga nila yung seniors. May special... Wala. Rather, walang special time for them, rather. Um, pinapauna sila sa pila kapag meron. And there are also chairs outside the classrooms to accommodate them. Um, once you get inside, uh, I would assume that is how it should go naman talaga. They give you your ballot. Um, they also show you that it is unmarked. Um, it is very clean. It is brand new. So I made sure of that before getting mine as well. They, they give you your secrecy folder and your pen and then you're allowed to take your seat and um, go vote already. And when feeding to the poll machine also, there's either a PPCRB volunteer there watching you or mismo yung teachers who are assigned in the precinct to do that. Of course, you have to do that yourself. You have to feed your ballot yourself, which I did. And I also uh, made sure to check my receipt after then. Sa pintuan pa lang, meron ng... Um, health protocols that you follow. So, nandun may medical personnel yung nagbabantay aside from mga security guard na assigned sa entrances. You have to take your temperature and then merong disinfecting station which is just alcohol. But aside from that, hindi naman ninihinga ng vax card. Um, hindi din na tinitignan yung kung naka-face shield ka. So, those aren't required to be able to vote. But um, I think the whole process, it took me about 30 minutes. Oh. Or even, yeah, about 30 minutes. So, okay naman. Uh, I'm here outside na actually. Yeah. Yes. I'm done voting. Nina, first time voter ka pala. So, gagawin kitang representative ng Gen Z, yes. no? Ilang, hindi nata, wala natang Gen Z sa panel na ito today. Um, how does it feel like? Uh, this is a first time voting for a president. Uh, mm -hmm. Medyo high stakes. High emo very emotional election itong 2022 election. Right. How does it feel, Nina? Um... For me, it sunk in nung nakita ko na yung resibo. Uh, it felt really good for the first time kasi na-realize ko na uh, this, this receipt that I dropped into this box, especially after seeing na it, you know, it recorded correctly all the people I wanted to vote for, it felt really nice knowing na I was able to contribute that. So, di ko alam kung cheesy ba yun or ako lang yung nakaka-feel nun. Pero um, it really sunk in when I saw the receipt because it was final na eh. The decision was made. I made my choice na. And I, I mean, you know, it Medyo naglalag na ata ng konti si Nina. Hindi yun OA kasi ako rin nung, when I, when I voted for the first time in 2010, may, may pangiyak-iyak pa akong nangyari. Hang. Or baka puyat lang ako nun kasi intern ako nun ng, ano, ng isang news organization. And thank you, Nina. Again, she's reporting live from Pasong Tamo Elementary School in Quezon City where she just voted for the first time ever. Congrats, Nina, um, for casting your first vote um, and in the 2022 presidential elections at that. Um,